Right. Well, as we get closer to planting each day, uh, many people, and, and, and I'm asking you this because you're an expert in this field, you've got raised beds, and the, the myth or the saying or the, the knowledge has been passed around that if you're growing in raised beds, you can plant these plants a whole lot closer than you could in traditional ground because you're growing them in really rich nutrient soil. Is there any truth to that, or is this just another garden myth that we've all been led to believe? I say it's a myth that, you know, you want good garden soil, whether it's in ground or in raised beds. The, the raised bed environment is definitely an advantage for uh, being able to create the ideal soil mix for sure. You get better drainage and, and all these other better properties that you have more control over. But the plants still demand air and light, you know, air circulation and light opportunity. And so, you know, soil has nothing to do with that. The fact that you would be planting them closer together doesn't do anything that's good for that plant. They still want to have that air circulation and as much light as possible around them because they don't want to be crowded just because they're in a raised bed and they have better soil. That 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 does have some advantages over inferior soil, but there's no reason you can't have great soil in an in-ground bed either. But no matter where you plant your plants, you still need to give them good air and light circulation. For more information, please visit the WisconsinVegetableGardener.com.